But Mr. Crandall, I don't know how to draw 3D shapes. I don't know how to draw solid figures. Well, that's okay. I'm going to teach you. Let's start with a sphere. Spheres are kind of easy. Draw a circle. And then draw a curved line kind of through the middle. And it looks like a ball, because that's what a sphere looks like. If you want to get really fancy, which I do, you can draw a dotted line like that. And then you've got a sphere. Next, let's go to a cylinder. Cylinders are kind of fun, too. You want to start with two lines like this. Then you want to do a curved line at the bottom and a curved line going the same kind of curve and then a curve going the opposite way at the top. And you can make them like really tall and skinny or you can make them kind of squatty like this too. And again, if you want to go really fancy, you can throw in some dotted lines. Like that. Alright, let's go down to a cone. For a cone, it really kind of looks like a triangle. But instead of doing a straight line on the bottom, we're going to do a curved line like we did on the cylinder. And again, you could make it tall and skinny, or you could make it short and squatty, and you could do a dotted line. Cubes are really fun because there's a couple of different ways to do it. Now watch closely. I like to start with a square. And then I like to go right in the middle of the square for this corner. So you've got two squares, actually three squares if you count that one. And then I connect top right to top right, top left to top left, bottom left to bottom left, and bottom right to bottom right like that. Another way you can do it is to start with a square and then just do like angled lines off of those corners and connect them. So those both look like cubes in my opinion. The rectangular prism is a lot like the cube, we're just going to kind of stretch it out. So we'll start, I'll show you two different ways. We'll start with a square and then we'll do longer pieces like this. That's a rectangular prism. Or let's say you wanted to do it vertically. You could do, start with a rectangle like this, and then draw like that. So now you know how to draw some. The beautiful thing is, if you didn't get it the first time, just watch the video again. And now you're going to look for some of these shapes around your house or around the school, wherever you're doing this e-learning day. Look for spheres, cylinders, cones, cubes, rectangular prisms, and draw them and write them down.